We're Chris and Marianne, and we've been traveling full time for the past three years. We did it! We're currently attempting to drive Trudy, our home on wheels, all the way around the world. Walk away from the van. <laughs> and I'll give you a few little, little patches. I learnt <laughs> from last time, just walk out with the cat food. Don't stop, they'll follow you and it's all good. So our little cat there, the black one, the friendly one, doesn't fight with the rest. We've given it a little bit of separate food in the front of 3D. It worked. Good morning. Good morning. Day 13 of lockdown here in Dalian. It's going pretty quickly actually. You guys are keeping us entertained, that's for sure. The talk is that lockdown is still going to finish on the 19th, which is next week. But we'll just have to watch this space. In the meantime, we have a few jobs to do. Good morning, Good morning, Mr. Levent. Good morning. Good morning. Eat by Ramla. Oh, yes, thank you. Eat by Ramla. <laughs> Eat by Ramla. Because Eid today Ramla. is Eid. Yes. It's the can. end of fasting. The end of fasting. So you brought food. And uh, my wife made. Your wife made it. Yeah. What is it? His wife. Baklava. Oh, baklava. Baklava. Yes. <laughs> you don't like. <laughs> I do like. I know. <laughs> I keep saying to uh, uh, Levent that we're trying to stop sugar to uh, to get a bit healthy during lockdown, so he keeps bringing more and more sugar. It's not sweet. No, no, it's a no, really. No, no, no. It's, it's diet. It's diabetic. <laughs> it's diabetic. I believe it when I taste it. Okay, so the first job of the day must be a cup of coffee and baklava. Yes, we will. So while Marianne's making Levent a coffee, the job today, the big job of the day today, is we're going to clean the pool out. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to drain all of the water out. Oh, we got power! So here is the swimming pool. During the rainy season, it gets rainwater. So the job today is to empty this and uh, then we're just gonna hose it out so that it's all ready for when the tourists come, hopefully later this year. Okay, Mr. Levent, I think we should try your wife's speciality. Yes, it looks really good. <laughs> Mm. It's not diabetic baklava, but it's not going to kill you from the sugar. Yeah, <laughs> in the middle. In the middle. <laughs> now you're a bit of a baklava king, what do you think about it? It's that? lovely. This it's moist. It looks mm. really lovely. So another thing we're going to do today is I'm going to make some hummus. So we've got some chickpeas here, which we've been soaking overnight. So we're going to bring these to the boil and uh, just simmer them until they they go soft, so we can do that while we're doing the pool. Add a bay leaf, a couple of cloves of garlic, bring to the boil, simmer for an hour or two until it's soft. So because the sun's so intense, as the water goes down and exposes like the algae, the green, we have to hose it straight away, otherwise it dries and then it's really hard to get off. It's funny because there's plastic in the pool and people say to say to us regularly on the beach when we're doing beach cleans um, about plastic and we're saying that's why because the wind will pick it up and carry it and we've had some really strong winds recently. Well I never thought my husband would be a pool boy. <laughs> I got a new job. You got a pool new boy. job, how lovely. <laughs> Levent and Chris the hot pool boys. We've just spotted a frog. 
We're trying to save it. Oh, there's two! Oh, there's two frogs! Frog rescue! It's alright, we're going to a safe place, my lovely. The hazards of having a pool. Frogs! I suggested to Chris that I kiss it, but apparently he is my prince. There he is! There he is! Eba Ramla! Thank you! What is that? Oh, it's called oh, it's Kishke. 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 I know how to make it! Really I did good. a video! Oh, okay. I know, I saw it! Is it good? Chef. Yeah! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Keshkek. Yeah, we better. made this in the van. It's this is our than... sheaf. Yes. It's better. It's better. Yeah. 100% sure. 100% sure. Okay, we'll try. Okay. Oh, it smells lovely. It's like it, Oh, it yeah. Smell it smells very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Keshkek. There's another breakfast. On, uh, on this day, this celebratory day, there's a lot of food. Mmm. That's very good. Lots of flavour. And we said to say thank you to our host, Chris is going to make some homemade hummus and maybe flatbreads. Mmm, we can make flatbreads. Oh, flatbreads. Mm. So I thought I'd make some flatbreads to go with the hummus that we're making. And I've actually done some yeast ones, a bit like pizza dough. So we'll leave those for half an hour before we, uh, we get them cooked off. Okay, we got the flatbreads that we're rolling out. And then we're grilling them in a pan there. Okay, that is the last one. I think that's enough. Warm flatbread. Tastes so good. I made a bigger batch, one to share tonight with the hummus. They're very versatile. You can put cheese on them, turn them into little mini pizzas. If you're going through the effort of making them, you might as well just make a batch. I'll put those in a plastic bag and they will last. Although the only problem is Marianne may possibly... Oh, she's there. <laughs> Tell me off because of the mess. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> but at least you're looking after my cat. My cat, the cat's just come in. I was sat there making flatbreads. I didn't see it sneak in. Oh, there you go, melts, flatbreads. I, can, I was going to say, can I just sniff them? Oh, oh okay. my goodness, what have you done? <laughs> That's all right. Good food takes no, mess. No, it's not all right. Good. Be fine. Oh, there's a delivery. You got a package? It looks quite heavy. Let's have a look. I reckon that's your phone. Do you think so? Yeah. Marianne's ordered a new iPhone 11 to make better Instagram photos. Lockdown retail therapy. Oh, gosh. Oh. Yay! Oh, it really is. That's amazing. Show them your old phone. The, the battery's duffed, it's always on charge. That's Marianne's old phone, it's an iPhone 6. How old is that? And we share a phone, which we is share. really funny. So you've got a new iPhone. It's massive. Okay, I feel very spoiled. The kids said it was gonna be like a brick. It actually is. It's really heavy. It's heavy. Delivery, delivery, delivery. Is it a phone case, a charger, or a new drone? Wait for the box size. There's a box. Oh, very small. <laughs> he picked up the big. He's picked up the biggest one and the smallest one. It's like a drone. It quacks like a drone. Is it a drone? This is your drone. <gasps> Yay! Me. I think the box is giving it away. It's a new drone. I am so excited. We've actually been using the DJI Spark since we started Tread the Globe. Oh! It's Christmas time. Look how small this drone is. The DJI Mini 2. I'm really excited to be using this. And uh, because of its weight, 249 grams. You can use this in most countries without um, getting special permits. I'm excited. Okay, time to make the hummus. Luckily, we've got the power rope power bank, a hand blender, a travel adapter, Chickpeas, let the magic happen. There you go, that is the finished hummus. We made little pots to, uh, to give to all the people here that have been so nice to us, bringing us food. That's for the family. For later. 
spreads oh. to share. Because it's the end of fasting today, everybody's eating. Everybody eats sugar normally, right? Yeah. Why is it sugar? Just uh, we call today Ramazan Bayram and Sheker Bayram. Sheker means Bayram. sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar Bayram. Yeah. Event. Morning. Nice t-shirt yeah. by the way. Oh yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> One of my friends gave me. Did they? Yeah, Very yeah. nice. Yes. Van Life UK. Good t-shirt. Available on our shop. You're, you're, you're good friends. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you got there? I have uh, fresh from the uh, trees. Plums. Plums? Yeah. Uh, do you think they're like cherries? I think it's a cherry. I don't know. It's Try green. it. I want to see your face. Is it sweet or sour? No, <laughs> come on. It's very sour. And normally with the uh, with salt. salt. With That's salt. Easy. Is it sour? What do you mean? Why are you pulling that face? <laughs> it's not sour. <laughs> it's not really. Really? Real mind. Try it. I'm not trying it. I don't even like plums. But it's not about the plum. It's about sour it's or sweet. Not sour. <laughs> it's like sucking it's a lemon. It's so like sour. Them. What are you doing? I'm having like shot. a, you like, a shot. like a shot. <laughs> oh, it makes it sweeter. Yeah. But salt's bad for you, Levent. I know, but I don't like. Uh, but I like without salt. Just eat it like. It. It's good call. <laughs> not really. I think Levent, Levent's stitching us up. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea. It's uh, not my cup of tea. <laughs> Good morning, another day in lockdown and it's breakfast time and uh, we've done really well. We're still surviving with the stuff in the van. We haven't been shopping uh, for 14 days now, uh, which I think is quite impressive. So we've actually made omelette for breakfast with some onions and some herbs and we're going to have it with shakshuka, yes, uh, which is like aubergine and tomatoes and peppers and it's really good and uh, the good start to the day. Time to eat. Van Diaries. Today it's Cat Diaries. Um, we have a little cat that you may have seen on camera before that pops in to see us. We've noticed she's got some marks on her head and we're not sure if it's a rash or an irritation. So we've contacted a local charity online and they dropped off a box and they're gonna come and pick her up and we're gonna have her fixed. Come on, you. I have a cat. Oh, it's so lovely. <clears throat> I've given her a bit of a brush, but see her head? Beautiful. Calm, she doesn't she's mind. Very good. She's very good. She's honestly, she's so tame. That's why I'd love her to have a home. Tina has a fab system. She's got a basket that goes on her back to be able to collect cats. So she's going to take our cat off to the vets now for a good checkup. Thanks, Tina. You're welcome. Take care. Everybody seems to have a pot of bits. bits. We just have a few pots of a few more bits. <laughs> it's amazing what you gather <laughs> in your basket. Marianne just spotted a spider. <laughs> One of those jumpy ones. And they got like 20 eyes and big teeth. <laughs> oh my God. There it is. Okay, go on, get it out. What do you mean get it out? <laughs> Where is it? There. Where? There. <laughs> <laughs> Spider warning. Don't kill it. I don't want to kill it. I just I'm want to get it kill out. It. Uh oh. Careful, it's going to jump in your face. Oh! It's not an intelligent spider because there's lots of holes and it's not jumping out. Look at the size of its legs. Look how much dust is in the bottom of that basket. That's why we're cleaning the. <gasps> oh! Oh, see, now it's gone in the stuff. Where is it? Oh my goodness. It's going to eat our faces. Oh, the stuff there is. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, there. it's just gone on the floor. Bye, Mr. Spider. So despite getting my new drone, probably about a week ago, I haven't actually managed to fly it yet. I've been watching tutorials and just figuring out all the settings because it's always best to make sure it's all set up properly. But we are now ready to, to give it a maiden flight. Let's go fly the drone. 
we've been asked to do a collaboration so we thought we would submit one and what they want is to, for us just to dry, fly straight up looking down on us but first because I've never flown this and it's a little bit windy I thought I'd give it a little quick test flight just to make sure it all works okay and here's another lesson before you talk to your GoPro make sure the field of view is correct because I've just noticed that it's set to super view which is super wide which probably makes the sides go distorted and I don't know how long it's been for We're going to lie down in the courtyard now and do another go and see if we can make it even more fun. I think that's pretty much the middle of the courtyard. Up there we go. This new drone is just brilliant. So with the leftover flatbreads, I'm gonna make little pizzas for lunch. I made a batch of uh, tomato sauce yesterday, some cheese, some olives. There you go. Gradually warmed up in the frying pan. Chris's flatbread pizza, woohoo! Lunch is served. Oh, thank you very much. The only problem with the pizza is you can only cook them one at a time. So that romantic lunch might be staggered today. Okay, pizza number two done. You waited for me. I just chopped it up. I'd rather <laughs> eat with you. Chris went to turn the camera on and it said SD error, SD card error. And he was like, it's having a bit of a blip. And then he looked at me and went, a bit like our travel journey. <laughs> our travel journey does seem like it's having a bit of a blip sometimes. You're back. Yeah, you're back. Yeah. Oh, he never, oh. You didn't like it, did you? I bet you didn't. Yeah. You're back now. There eczema. You go. you got you're going to live. Baby. Hello. But no, no treatment needed. That's good. We're converting everyone to Tread the Globe followers. Beautiful. Chog chog gazelle. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Do you want a cup of coffee? Oh, I'd kill for a coffee. Oh, you're still there, Kevin Lacey. What are you doing in the coffee cup? Oh, Charlotte and Johnny. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Happy birthday! There's Ken in there. Edith and Emily and Lucy. What are you doing in there? Lucy, I heard you broke your kneecap. I hope you're feeling better really soon. Love, chuck us some loo roll. Thank you very much. Oh, Damien, this is a private moment. Rebecca said, go get the van. Hey, Lucy and Sophie, I heard you are coming to Turkey. Oh, the Ali family from Lancashire. Don't worry, by the time you come to Turkey, this pool will be full. Oh, Gaz and Vicky, what are you doing in the roses? Watch those prickly bits. Oh, Phil and Dawn, go and buy the van. Oh, Linda and Mike, what are you doing there? Oh, Linda and Hussein, your daughter said you'd be hiding in there. Oh, Alison, tell Brian to get off his iPad and do the washing up. Oh, 
Wendy, what is it with you and toilets? <laughs>